Hey everyone, it's Lars here and welcome back to Virtual Paddock. Today I want to talk about pedals, and more specifically, load cell brake pedals. I've seen quite a few times that someone asks about upgrading their gear, like going from a Logitech wheel to a Fanatec, but then getting replies saying that pedals actually make much more of a difference, and specifically recommending a load cell. I made that change about one and a half years ago, I went from my Logitech G29 pedals to a set of Fanatec CSL Elite LC and I figured I'd do a video just to try to help those who might be interested in getting a load set pedal set but don't quite know what to expect. So let's go. First of all, what is a load cell? Technically speaking it's a transducer, basically an energy converter. So it measures the physical load that you put on it and then puts out an electrical signal directly proportional to that. And in the context of sim racing, it basically means that you can have a brake that actually reacts to the amount of pressure that you apply to the pedal. And how's that differ from the more entry level pedals? The pedals that you get with say a Thrustmaster T150 or a Logitech G29 those pedals use potentiometers. So you press the pedal and that then turns a potentiometer. In other words, it measures the pedal travel. And that's not a bad technology in and of itself. But there are a few problems when it comes to sim racing gear. First of all, they're quite sensitive to wear and to dust, which can lead to the inputs not being registered correctly. and might even detect the signal even though you're not actually pressing the pedal. And the second problem, which is a bit more subjective, is with feel. A lot of the manufacturers of cheaper gear don't really bother to put any significant resistance in the brake, or if they do, it's not a proper progressive resistance. There are third party mods to kind of fix that, and Thrustmaster does actually offer a conical brake mod for the T3PA Pro pedals. But then they've also jumped up a step now and actually offer a set with load cell. And that leads me around to the main point. What's the benefit of a load cell brake pedal? To me, the main benefit is consistency, which essentially comes down to muscle memory. It's a lot easier for your body to internalize the amount of force that you apply with your leg compared to how much you're moving your foot and shows especially when it comes to easing off the brake, like to avoid locking up or to trail back into a corner. And I've definitely gained a lot more control on the brakes. They're also a lot more adjustable. Pedal travel basically doesn't matter at all. Longer travel, shoulder travel, it's all up to you. And you can see in the video that I'm actually using rather short travel. But it's not just the travel. You can also decide how stiff you want the pedal to be. I'm actually using the stiffest elastomers that came with the set. They're good for a maximum load of 90 kilograms, which is also the maximum load of the load cell that comes with the CSL lead LC pedals. And in the Fanatec software, I've calibrated it to get a full signal at 90%. So in order to get full brake pressure in game, I have to apply 81 kilograms of force on the pedal. But if I wanted to, I could easily set it to less. And it's great to be able to set it just the way you want it. So there certainly are a lot of benefits. The only downsides I can think of are that, for one, it does feel a bit odd at first, but you actually get used to it pretty quickly. But more importantly, you do generally need a good rig to mount them, which I actually don't have really. I'm using a PlayC challenge, which doesn't allow me to hard mount the pedals. So I used a lot of zip ties combined with a sheet of plywood that I put under the pedal frame and I screwed the pedal base to that sheet with the screws going just outside of the pedal frame. It's tight enough to help hold in place. It does work, but it's far from perfect, to be honest. So I hope that was helpful to you. If you've got any more questions, just ask me and I'll try my best to answer them. 
Anyway, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed the video. So, till next time, use the downforce and see you soon.